Yeah, yeah, to a dog. That's what I'm talking about, baby. And with that, welcome to Hero. Hi, welcome back to another Alchemy Stars video. My name is Lace, and today we are going to be talking about Hero because we actually get a sneak peek of her info over here. And so welcome to the Hero Evaluation video. However, of course, as you guys know, I am a very theoretical guy, especially because I have trash luck. It's not like I'm going to be able to get Hero for free, right? Let me help you beta test your characters, you know what I'm saying, Toto? All non-joking aside, we are finally getting Hero, who is probably one of the most anticipated characters right now. The only more anticipated character than Hero is probably Bethlehem. And that is just because she's cute, right? And well, she is pretty cute, okay? But Hero is also really cute. However, she also seems pretty busted. And like I said in one of my last videos, Hero is going to be one of the fourth six star forest units. This is really massive, especially in a type which is like, I guess, overlooked a lot. A lot of people look at it and be like, oh, mm. Don't know about that one, huh? With that being said, though, don't sleep on Forest, guys. Like, it's actually pretty crooked. All right, I'm gonna stop playing Stalling Steven and let's have a look at Hero's kit. Hero seemingly is quite strong. However, her attack is looking a little bit on the low side. 3k attack, that actually sounds quite low for a detonator. However, that might be because of, like, her use of enhanced tiles. All right, guys, so I'm on my favorite AS website. And as you can see, I feel like everybody else is gonna have way more attack than her. Granted, the stats that's actually shown might be just at, like, breakthrough one, but I don't think there's too much attack stats going on even if you get her to like break through six for example so actually let me just click one up i'll have a look at Caron. yeah okay this is actually showing base stats so that's actually kind of interesting i suspect it is to balance around her kit because as we get into it you're gonna realize like wow she actually does like well it's theoretically a lot of damage so let me just have a quick look at the snipers as well and yeah it looks like she's actually holy crap 3.7k what in the world yeah all right let's jump back to hero and maybe we'll find out why she has like such a gimmick attack. Okay, so defense and HP look pretty good. They look pretty standard. I would say that the defense is actually a little bit higher than normal. And so next we've got this guy over here in which we see that when she gets A3, it looks like she's going to be dual element with Thunder. That's pretty good because I don't think we actually have that flexibility in like the six star forest Aurorians yet. If I remember correctly, this is I think the only pair that we don't have yet. So yeah, that's pretty nice. So let's have a look at her active skill. Mmm. This is juicy. This is so juicy. Converts any two chosen tiles to enhance green tiles and deals 240% damage to enemies in cross shape to the maximum range. To be honest, guys, I cannot tell if she's a converter or a detonator. And the reason why this is so important is because if she's a converter, then this preemptive is going to come at breakthrough zero. On the other hand, if she is a detonator, she is probably going to have this preemptive locked behind like her breakthrough three or something. Because of the reduced stats, that's like a lot more in line with like converter stats. The first clue that I have is that well, these stats look a little bit well, the attack looks a little bit reduced. This kind of suggests to me that there is a possibility that she is a converter, but honestly I doubt it. I do think that Hero is going to be a detonator, and I think this is just to make up for like this busted stuff over here. But to be honest, this is like kind of the, exactly the character that you want. Not only does she do damage, like technically she is a, like a detonator or like a damage dealer, but on top of that she's also going to be converting cells. So like if you guys have seen my last video, it's going to be all about like converters and teleporters and having a DPS with conversion technology is just going to be like so massive, especially with this bad boy on a three round, potentially four round cooldown. I think that's a decent trade off to get enhanced green tiles. Keep in mind that these aren't your normal green tiles. And for you guys who don't know what the enhanced green tiles are, if you do see this, like you can actually click on it and you'll see grants two times the connection damage of a normal tile. Again, to reiterate, I do think that because she is playing around this mechanic, that is the reason why her like attack is so low. But yeah, back to the skill itself. I think this is a really, really great skill. And so the damage component is dealing 240% to enemies in cross shape to the maximum range. So that's just like a big cross. Like it's pretty cool to like snipe off units at the end, but it's very, very particular. Me personally, I'm not a massive fan of cross shapes. However, I do see some big clusters over here and it just makes me so happy. But yeah, all in all, this is a really solid skill, especially because she's like producing enhanced green tiles. All right, next let's have a look at her chain combo. And essentially we've got the one cluster, we've got the star thing, and then we've got the big cluster. Look at that bad boy. Mm, music to my ear or rather like eye candy to my eyes. There really isn't too much to say about this. I'm a massive fan of all three of these patterns and I just think that like every detonator that is good should run to, like something like this. And for you guys who don't understand why I like it so much, it's just because it's like so simplistic. There are just so many use cases and scenarios where like this shape was actually gonna work as opposed to like, you know, those big crosses and stuff. There is actually just such a high chance that you'll hit something if you just have these kinds of shapes, you know? And so with that being said, let's move on and have a look at the equipment. Yeah, yeah, the enhanced tiles. All right, one with the duel. So she enters duel stance at the start of the round or whenever 
passing through an enhanced tile. The next normal attack deals 160% damage to the enemy and 80% damage to enemies in four tiles in a cross shape around her. So that's essentially like the same thing as like, oh, for example, everyone has Miss Blanc, right? So Miss Blanc, you guys should know the converter. It's just like she gets like the four tiles around her, like up, down, left, right. So it looks like she's going to be doing like kind of pseudo AOE damage around her for those four tiles. However, on top of that, we're going to get an attack increase by 4% in this round per use of one with the dual up to a maximum of 20%. What I'm hearing here is that there is a theoretical maximum of like five enhanced tiles. So you can actually set up for some pretty massive bursts. However, like if she is the only source of enhanced green tiles for you, it's probably not that great. So I don't think I need to explain this anymore. It's just that she's going to get like massive attack increases. But like what I really want to talk about is like, well, how do I support Hero? Because Hero, like just from looking at her kit, she is like a really big carry. She reminds me of like Charon, Sharona, uh, Midgard. Well, yeah, because she is a detonator or a damage dealer. So of course there's similarities, right? But yeah, to proc this equipment effect, you can't rely on this active skill over here. It's not that it's unreliable. It's just that it's way too slow. To be able to get that massive burst, like you're looking for five of them. And so you would have to cast this twice at least and maybe like an Uriah or something. And on top of that, this is probably going to be a four round cooldown active skill. And so it's potentially going to take you up to eight turns at like just the base hero to set up for this guy over here. The answer is so obvious. Let's go look for some more characters that actually give the enhanced green tiles. All right, boys, we are back on my favorite Alchemy Stars website and look at that. We've got Nikki who has a chance to generate up to two enhanced tiles. I believe that is added at A3. So yeah, as you can see down here, Nikki has a chance to generate up to two enhanced tiles. So if I bump that down, yeah, you can see it disappears. So it looks like the first unit you want is an A3 Nikki. Huh, who said Nikki was bad? Not me, right? Not me, guys. Enhanced tiles. Oh, I just saw one up there. Gabrielle. So Gabrielle converts one selected tile out of all of this to another element. One enhanced tile will be generated per 10 tiles converted. On top of that, her equipment actually gives you one enhanced tile per six green tiles passed through in this round. And on top of that, green tiles will be enhanced first. I do think that this one is a little bit of a random one. I actually don't have Gabrielle to test this. Thor dog, if you want to give me a Gabrielle, you know what I'm saying? Just hit me up, you know? Just hit me up. Slide in my DMs. But yeah, you guys can already see the synergy. But like the more I look at this, even Pact has this going on. I feel like there's actually already massive synergy that I completely overlooked. We already know that fire is like lacking in teleports, but has like so much explosive damage. And so what we are looking at is probably Forest's quirk. And what I mean by quirk is kind of like their specialty, right? So like they do have like the teleports. They do have like some of the conversions. They also got some like other really weird stuff like cross-shaped patterns, but they have a lot of enhanced tiles. When I think about the other elements, there are very, very few characters, if any, that actually produce enhanced tiles. However, in this element type, there are actually four. I believe Pact is another one. But yeah, I think you guys are seeing what I'm getting at, right? So we've got Pact over here and let's have a look at who else we have. We've got Jola resetting all tiles on the field while maintaining the number of enhanced tiles to be redistributed. Green tiles have an increased chance of generating enhanced tiles. Whoa, that's actually really lit. And after that, the last one is probably Uriah who is not showing up. Why is Uriah not here? Oh, I am only on the converters. Let's have a look at what else we got here. There's probably actually even more now enhanced tiles. Actually, no, there isn't. I don't think there actually is. Never mind, guys. When I take away the S, it goes up to one out of 10 matches. All right, so let's do a quick skim through. We've got Nikki. We've got Gabrielle. We've got uh, Pact. We've got Robin. Robin only on breakthrough two. We get the active skill enhancement where she converts each enemy occupied tile to an enhanced tile within the range of the active skill. Hold up. That's actually pretty lit. However, unfortunately, Robin was exclusive. So if you guys didn't get her before, you're not going to get her now. But if you're patient enough to wait another five months, maybe we'll actually be able to get her. Anyway, moving on, we've got Pact, who we already know about. Oh my god, her equipment is also stacked with the enhanced tile. What the heck? It's everywhere. It's everywhere. This is the one that I was talking about before. So if you overheal on Uriah, you actually get a green tile converted to an enhanced tile. The one thing that I do want to call out here is that this one is predictable. So you'll know which tile is getting the enhancement. All right, let's keep going. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Okay, so Jola, we did know about before. Any forest tile selected is converted to enhanced tile. Oh my god, there is so much support for hero. This is actually kind of cracked. Like I didn't realize that there was so much support already. All right, so from the top, make it drop. We've got Nikki, we've got Gabrielle, we've got uh, Robin, we've got Pact, we've 
got, I believe, Uriah, we've got Jola, we've got Ofina. That is a total of seven characters that currently already exist in the game that do have synergies with Hero. Now, of these seven, who would I pick? For me, in a team, I would always go Nikki and I would always go Pact. Their archetype is just my favorite. I love the pure converters. Convert four tiles, I'm freaking in, my dudes. However, I guess the issue with these guys is that it is a chance to generate up to two enhanced tiles. So this is the same with Nikki as well. Jola is also another kind of RNG one. And so I'm not really actually a massive fan of that. And so what this is saying to me is that if I want to play hero, like Nikki and Pact aren't the best units for it, just because it's not like a reliable way to play. Like obviously, you know, we play RNG. I mean, frick, we're playing a gacha game for God's sake. But yeah, if you really, really want to make sure you're getting those enhanced tiles, we've got Ofina here. It's not Jola. We've got Uriah. We've got Robin and we've got Gabrielle. Hmm, interesting. Very, very interesting. So my take on all of this is that you should still run Nikki and Pact because like, well, they are the pure converters. And then you run any of the other two as well as Hero, right? I think Athena is pretty good because it's a two turn guarantee for a forest style enhancement. Uriah is like your only choice for a healer. So if you do need a healer, sub her in. If you do not, sub her out. And then yeah, we got old mate Robin here, but only if you have breakthrough two, which is actually not possible. Okay, so forget about Robin. Robin at this point in the game actually has no synergy with Hero. And so yeah, that's actually a pretty solid team. However, let's not put all of our baskets into like the egg that is Hero. If you guys do have Midgard, I do think that she is still like one of the strongest characters in the entire game. And so like, I guess the best optimal team that I can think of, you're probably looking at something like Nikki, Midgard, Pact at least. And then for me personally, it's probably going to be Hero plus another one of these guys. So probably Ofina. With all of that, that's actually four units with conversion capabilities and one teleport. What a freaking dream team, guys. Like, holy crap, if I was running Forest, I'd be ecstatic if I had all of those characters. Sadly, I don't think I have any of those characters except for Pact. So <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be for me, guys. But yeah, like the inclusion of Midgard, you guys already know, like the teleport is just so freaking massive. Midgard herself is also just such a strong unit as well. And I don't think that you can go wrong, like including her with the hero. And I saw a lot of you comment on my last Alchemy Stars video. Like you guys think that, well, five converters probably isn't the best idea. And you know what? Fair enough. You know, fair enough. We're missing a lot of attack. So for example, look at Nikki. Nikki has that 2.3k attack. And then if we scroll down to Pact, we've got 2.3k attack on her as well. And if we go to Midgard, it's freaking 3.7k. And so just because of like how attack and defense work, it's freaking flat scaling, which is so weird. We probably should have a little bit of DPS, but like DPS with some utility, such as a teleport or in Hero's case with like some conversion. Honestly, it's a dream come true. And I can see that team being so incredibly strong. This, my guys, is such a lucky gal. She has so much support in place already. But yeah, I think that's actually all that's left to talk about. I really wanted to focus on this because her like gimmick or rather her specialty is around this enhanced tile mechanic. Like this is pretty nutty to be honest. And if you can really like keep the uptime on these enhanced tiles, I can see why they nerfed her attack. But yeah, hopefully you guys can kind of like understand my thought process for like these kind of first impressions of like how I would do with Hero. I think the logic makes sense, but if you guys don't agree with me, then let me know down in the comments. But otherwise, I think she is a fantastic hero. Again, this is converts any two chosen tiles to enhanced green tiles. Like bloody hell, I would take this active over Charon's any day. Charon is a reset that does not like wait towards red. This one, you are choosing two enhanced green tiles. Man, frick, I would pick like any detonator or sniper that is able to convert. But yeah, guys, I'm going to stop rambling. And so let's start wrapping up this video. I've got a secret message for you guys, and that's Hero. And on top of that, if you guys are going to be rolling for her, let me know down in the comments as well. And so if you guys would drop Hero as well as if you're going to be rolling for her down in the comments, I would really appreciate that because it means that you've made it to the end of the video. And so thank you so much. But otherwise, please consider a like, a sub, a comment, a follow, a pin. You guys already know what it is. But as Hero once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.